Hey, this is Kids Art Clubhouse. Today we're gonna to be drawing a marshmallow. Like always, we'd love to have you subscribe and ring the little bell so you know when our new videos are coming out. Also, watch till the end because we usually try to do something creative with our art. We've got our pen, we've got our paper, let's get drawing. Okay, so today we're drawing a marshmallow. Now, marshmallow is actually a pretty simple thing to draw. I mean, if you think about it, you're looking at a square with some rounded edges, maybe a circle on one side to give it, like you'd draw a three-dimensional box. Um, you know, whether it goes this way <clears throat> or it goes that way, or there's a whole pile of marshmallows, um, or you draw it in between a graham cracker, you know, and it's kind of squishes out here or something like that. But that's not really going to look like a, I mean, your layer of chocolate to make a s'more or something like that. But this really isn't going to work for what we're doing unless we're going to color it. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do just a single marshmallow. Uh, and what we're going to do is we're going to try to make it so that it looks a little bit squishy. Now we can make it a little bit squishy by kind of flaring out the edges a little bit like this. And then I'm going to do the bottom of the marshmallow with a curve. And then I'm going to just pull those side, the side in a little bit on this other side as well. Now I want it to have depth, so I want a circle on the top, but our marshmallow is not going to have a really hard line like in the little sketch that I did. So I'm going to draw the top line of it right here. And then I'm going to give it the impression of a line here by just doing kind of a partial line. That'll give it that depth, I think, that we need. Um, you know, it's interesting, I've, as I've been, as I've grown more accustomed to drawing with Illustrator, uh, and I'll turn this one into a, an illustration, uh, and a, you know, so there's a, a much more crisp drawing of it. Um, I've gotten to where I really like the heavy borders that are, aren't exactly equal around the item. I think they give it some depth and um, the inconsistency of an equal border all the way around it um, give it some additional impression as far as the shape. That right there could be our simple marshmallow. If we wanted to take it and we wanted to make it a cute marshmallow, or a fun marshmallow, we could add a face to it, really any type of face. Um, let's say he's a really happy marshmallow. So we're gonna add a big smile to him. With some big eyes. Those eyes can just be circles. I'm gonna give it the impression that it looks a little bit more like an eyeball there. So we've made it a happy marshmallow at that point. And then I'm gonna just color in the mouth here. And really, probably this mouth ought to be colored in like red or something like that, but we're gonna just color it in black. I'm going to give that just a little bit more of a flare there. I want to make this curve down here just a little bit more. I'm going to make that line just a little bit thicker. Um, you know, we could give it some happy eyebrows too. Now, one of my favorite things to do with the marshmallow is to roast it you know, to do s'mores and stuff, cook it over a campfire. So let's draw that. We're gonna put him on a stick. And you know, I don't know if you've ever been camping. I live in Utah and there's always uh, camping and the best thing I think to do is to just put that marshmallow on a stick rather than, <laughs> uh, you know, maybe you whittle off the end of it or something like that. 
I'm going to put that marshmallow right through that stick there. And then you're going to put that, you know, I'm going to actually add just another line kind of right up here around the top of our marshmallow. I'm going to add another line kind of over here as well. Maybe curve that around there just a little bit. Um, then we can put it over a flame because, you know, of course we want to cook that marshmallow. So I'm going to... Now flame's kind of funny because, you know, they can be random, but at the same time, if you don't do them really quite right, they can look kind of funny. But most flames are going to have a little bit of a a flare up to it and that's going to break off in a point or two um, and sometimes it's hard to make it uh, you know unless maybe you sketch it out first or something to make it look like a really good flame and that probably ought to, ought to have gone up a little higher there We could have a board, like a log on the fire. Make it look like a, a stick of some sort on the fire. Sometimes that can be, you know, especially with like bark and stuff, just some random randomness to what you're what you're doing you know and it, especially something like this it doesn't need to be perfect just a little abstract got a marshmallow over a campfire. Kind of like that. Add a little flame over here too. that I think that works um, you know you could think of something creative to say if you wanted to make it a little more cartoonish obviously coloring it in white marshmallow some red yellow orange in the flames brown in the logs and maybe I would do some sort of black shading or gray shading or dark blue for kind of a more of a night setting uh, or a campfire so there we go thanks for watching Thank you.